In this video, I want to show you fault code E8, which you will see on the remote controller um, here, and it says water flow fault. So essentially, all it means is the units run the pump, it thinks the water should be moving, um, but nothing has happened for the last minute. So if we look carefully on the outdoor unit, you will see the fault code E8 showing here. And if you want to look carefully, you can actually see the flow switch is this white plug and um, goes all the way along here up into a um, red and white plug at the top. And this plugs in to this cable here. So if you unplug it, of course, you get the fault code. But this is not what you're going to have on site. So if you take the end panel off here and look carefully inside, see this white polystyrene here? Inside here is a little flow switch, which is a paddle switch. And all this fault code means is when the pump is running, the paddle switch has not moved. This is not an error with the unit. So if you look inside that polystyrene, you'll see this is what the flow switch looks like. Nice and simple. When the water starts moving, the little paddle moves um, to, to indicate to the unit that there's flow. So all it means is the water's not moving. It's nothing to do with the unit, it's not a problem, but what you need to do is go and have a look around. So, a couple of things start at the back of the unit. If you've got any shut-off valves, get them open. Check your flexi hoses are not kinked, because that will stop the water moving. Work your way along the pipework. Um, if you've got any valves here, check they're open. If you've got a three-port valve, make sure that's open. Most importantly, and the most common problem, is your filter ball. So it looks like this. So what I need you to do is turn the filter off undo this nut no water will come out or a tiny bit of water will come out stick your finger in pull the gauze out and wash it off put it back in tighten it up it has a little rubber washer inside just nip it up and back open again and start the unit um, essentially what it's telling you is that there's very very low flow rate so this flow paddle switch activates at about 15 liters a minute which is quite fast compared to a boiler so make sure that you've got loads and loads of, um, of movement of the water. If the system's full of air, you get the same problem because of course air doesn't move. Um, one of the things to watch out for on the media, nice and easy, you can blow the air off with this blow off valve. Um, and also up here, underneath the little cover, it's very difficult to see in the dark, but underneath this cover here, there is actually an AAV. You can see it inside. Make sure that's open and got all the air out of the pump. So nice and simple. But the annoying thing, as you hear that beeping, is after a couple of minutes, um, the E8 will disappear um, and it leaves the unit just switched off. So if you have a problem where your unit keeps just turning off and you don't know why, essentially what you've got is a flow error. One thing I can tell you with absolute certainty, you do not need a new flow switch. You just need to get the water moving. 